Hello everybody and this is my third lecture on permutations and combinations. So welcome to the course. The topic we are dealing today is circular permutations. Here we learn how to evaluate circular permutations, how to evaluate circular permutations when clockwise and counterclockwise arrangements are not different and how to evaluate circular permutations of n different objects taken r at a time. So number of ways of arranging n people around the table is n minus 1 factorial. Here clockwise is one arrangement and the other arrangement is anti-clockwise. So there are two different arrangements, clockwise and anti-clockwise. How do we get that? When you fix one element, the remaining n minus 1 elements can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial ways. So what is n minus 1 factorial? number of ways of arranging n objects around the table. Number of ways of arranging n objects around the table when clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not different is n minus 1 factorial by 2. For example, when you arrange beads of different colors, it really doesn't matter whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. They are basically the same. So coming to questions, in how many ways can 10 boys and 5 girls sit around a table so that no two girls sit together? So we arrange the 10 boys around a circle and how many ways can they be done? By our earlier formula, it's 9 factorial ways. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces left and the 5 girls can be arranged in these 9 spaces in 9 P5 ways. So what is the total number of arrangements? By the fundamental principle of counting, it is 9 factorial into 9 P5. That is 9 factorial into 9 factorial by 4 factorial. Coming to question 2, find the number of ways in which 10 people can be arranged in a circle so that 4 particular people are together. Treat the 4 people as 1. So there are how many people? 10 minus 4 plus 1 that is 7 people. And how many ways can they be arranged in a circle in 7 minus 1, that is 6 factorial ways. Now how many ways can the 4 people arranged be arranged between themselves? That is 4 factorial ways. So your total number of ways is 6 factorial into 4 factorial which is 8640. We use the fundamental principle of counting here. Number of circular permutations of n different things taken r at a time. When clockwise and counterclockwise arrangements are different, it's NPR by R. And number of circular permutations of N different things taken R at a time when clockwise and counterclockwise arrangements are not different is NPR by 2R. Coming to question 3, in how many ways can 20 people be arranged around a table if there are 9 chairs? So number of ways that 20 people can be arranged around a table if there are 9 chairs here the clockwise and counterclockwise arrangements are different. So it is 20 P9 by 9, NPR by R that is 20 P9 by 9. Coming to question 4, a round table conference is to be held between 20 delegates. How many seating arrangements are possible if two particular delegates are always separated by one person? So we fix the one person and A and B, the two delegates, can be seated on either side of this person in how many ways? Two ways. And the remaining 18 people, including this one person, can be arranged in 18 factorial ways. So the number of ways would be 2 into 18 factorial. So we have learned how to evaluate circular permutations how to evaluate circular permutations when clockwise and counterclockwise arrangements are not different and how to evaluate circular permutations of n objects taken r at a time. So thank you for watching this video and my next course, the next series will be introducing combinations. So please take a pen and paper and practice along with me.